Finally, we have a family you probably don't know. Dave and Mary uh, Wills and their son, Cody. They, they uh, planted the first brick in this church, I think, along with Chuck and Miriam and all, all the others. But Dave and I are both hobbled, so it's pretty, pretty slick. Matching feet. <laughs> Thanks, Lance, for breaking up and crying a little bit, because this is going to be hard for everyone to understand if I do the same. I uh, have coltisca disease. He's already crying. <laughs> Thanks, John. John, you want to help him? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, our dearest Cody, on this special day that marks the end of one season in your life and the beginning of another, we want you to be certain that you are important to your mother and myself. Our hearts both ache and celebrate this day. Our hearts both ache and celebrate this day as you continue down this path that the Lord has set before you. Our hope and dreams for you have always been for you to travel down this path. We have watched as your character has developed. Some of your greatest traits are that you are righteous, humble, courageous, and compassionate. In Proverbs 22, 6, it says, Direct your children onto the right path, and when they are older, they will not leave it. Your mother and I have always tried to follow God's word on this. We have tried to guide you down this path using your traits and gifts God has given you. A couple of things that stood out in our minds after all these years. We remember when you were in elementary school, when Pac had an extra pair of gloves for just in case one of the kids forgot theirs and wouldn't be able to go out and play. <laughs> And during the many hockey seasons, we would teasingly call you the nicest guy on ice. <laughs> because when you would check a guy against the boards and take him out of the play, you always looked back after the play was, so, was over to see if he needed help. <laughs> Cody, you're like a citadel. quiet, strong tower in the center of a city that overlooks the land, giving the citizens hope that you are there to protect them and offer refuge in face of attack. It's not a surprise to us that you have chosen to become a combat medic in the Navy. I think that in the back of my mind, I always knew that you would choose the military but that your compassion would steer you into serving men and women. Cody, I, your father, your mother, and the Lord bless you. Our Lord is the good Lord. May you always choose to be, may you always choose him to be your Lord. Cody, I use Joshua 1 9 to give you your charge today, the same charge that God gave Joseph, Joshua. When he sent him into the land, land to lead his people, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. I love you. Cody, share a little bit about what your plans are. Okay, well, let's see. Today's the in one month, I'll be shipping out to Navy Basic for, or yeah, for nine weeks or so. After that, medical schooling for whatever I really choose to do, like you know, if it's corpsman or all that. But after that, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs>